our transmission, here is our input shaft. Okay. Now remember, little gear drives big gear. Okay. So, let's, where's the smallest gear? This is the smallest gear, right? Okay. Then this is the second smallest, third smallest, right? And then direct drive. Okay. So power goes in through the input shaft, goes down through here to the counter gear. Gonna go over here. First gear, right? Goes down through here. So over here, second gear. Down through here, through here. Third gear, okay? And then fourth gear, this slides over like this, right? Locks it all together, direct drive. Sweet. Those are the gears, okay? This one, this isn't idle the gear for reverse. See, reverse gear. I had to show them in the video. Okay, you get your video, right? Okay. So input shaft, right? This was second gear. So where's the actual first gear? This is the actual first gear. Okay, so input shaft, first gear. Okay? Second gear. Third gear. Direct drive. And then back here is our fifth gear. We'll overdrive. We got to it? There we go. Hidden way in the back is overdrive. Okay, there's another one back here, and that actually does, it spins faster. So the input spins slower than the output on that one. So that will be fine. So that's fifth gear back here. These are synchronizers here. Now, on our synchronizer, we have the dog teeth, okay? These have to be in a, they have to look like dog houses. They have to look like little dog houses. Then you have your blocker ring. Okay, this blocker ring is shot. You can see the, the points are gone on this one. See, it has no points? Right, that one's shot, okay? That's gonna cause hard shifting. You have your hub in the center, then you have your synchronizer sleeve, that's the part that actually moves, right? That's the sleeve. And then in the center, that's the synchronizer hub. And then this is our other synchronizer, our blocker ring, or our cone clutch, they call it. Right, it's brass too. Yeah, brass. So if you see brass in the oil, this is where it came from, okay? What's that? Synchronizer. The synchronizer cone? or to synchronize your clutch, or to block or ring. Okay. Different names for the same thing, okay? Then the sleeve, to engage the different gears, the sleeve, all it does is it engages the hub to the dog teeth. Okay, see that, like right there? And not being cooperative. Let's go back to fourth gear. Goes to fourth gear real nice. Okay, it doesn't like third gear, okay? What's this called? This whole piece right here. That's a shift rail, right here shift rail, okay? This is a shift fork, okay? What, what? Let's say the shift fork here is broken, right? Let's say this part breaks off here. It, this, this may be here, but the fork may go over here. So then when you shift another gear in, you get two gears at once, oh, okay. right? That's the two gears at that's, once. That's, that's the broken shift fork. Yeah, yeah, like right now, direct drive works great when we're doing this, okay? Third gear, oh, there, there goes third gear, okay? Third gear, right? Then we move that, then we move another one. Let's see, if this goes, that's reverse, right? See how it's turning the opposite way? Mm -hmm. It's got the idler gear. Turning right, turning left. Okay, so this one is first gear, so we gotta push this one. Oh, oh there go, oh man, that was bad. Okay, let's, the keys fell out of that synchronizer or something. Okay, so now it's in first gear. Turning this fast, back there is turning slow. Good luck in me actually getting this to go back with the keys falling out. Let's see if we got to. 